If I look tired, it's because I am. I've been on the road all day, but here I am, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, catching up on all of the news, and I didn't spend much time on Twitter, and I had a good day because I wasn't on Twitter, and then I obviously had to check everything out to see what's going on in the news cycle, and yesterday I made a video titled, Everything is Stupid Right Now. Oh, that poor unfortunate soul known as me had no idea, had no idea how stupid it actually would get less than 24 hours later. But here we are with Gone with the Wind being removed from HBO Max because of its depiction of black people. Gone with the Wind, a movie that's been around since, what, 1940? now suddenly has to be removed and what are they going to do they're going to edit it they're going to alter it again i'm a little fuzzy on the specifics because i am just now finding all of this information out but it has been removed from hbo max that is an all-time bad decision it is completely fucking stupid is what it is and if you're out there supporting this nonsense then you're stupid too I'm not here to try to tell you, I respect your opinion. We can all get along. I respect... I don't respect your opinion if you're for this cancel culture bullshit. I just don't. I think you're an idiot. I think you're part of the problem. It is absolutely ridiculous. And it's going to continue to happen as long as people are scared to give their opinions on social media. And right now, people are scared to give their opinions. And when they give their opinions, and their opinions are viewed to be the wrong thing, oh, that's the wrong opinion. You can't have that opinion. That's the wrong opinion. When that happens, then they get scared, and they start seeing all of this happening. Look at Drew Brees. Again, Drew Brees, quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. By all accounts, a great guy. By all accounts, He's been in the league like 20 years, and he's always been referenced as a great guy. He's done so much for so many people. He's done things for minorities. He's done things for people within his city. He's done things all over the league. He's donated millions and millions of dollars. But because he had one opinion that LeBron James did not like, suddenly he went from having an opinion on a topic that he's been very well uh, versed on and knowledgeable about with the kneeling of the national anthem. He had an opinion. He shared that opinion in a very confident way. And then LeBron James, the same coward LeBron James that was too scared to have an opinion on China, Mr. I'm going to stand up for oppressed people, yet he couldn't say anything about China. LeBron James had to be offended, had to retweet him, and he had to go after the great Drew Brees over an opinion. And then Drew Brees goes from having a very confident opinion to the next day apologizing nonstop to black people for his opinion because LeBron James and other athletes decided it was time to cancel Drew Brees. The same LeBron, again, might I add, that was too much of a coward to have an opinion on China. That LeBron James. And now Drew Brees and his wife are sitting here apologizing, saying, we're the problem. We're the problem. All because of what? Because they're scared of being canceled. People have got to stop bending the knee to these people. It will never end. Once you start doing it, they're just not going to stop. They will take everything. Now they've canceled cops. The TV show Cops has been around 30 years. Suddenly they've canceled cops. They're, they're taking guns out of Looney Tunes. Whether you're black or white, if you have an opinion that does not line up with the narrative, they will cancel you. Look what they're trying to do to Candace Owens. Candace Owens, who has an opinion, who's a very, very, very well-spoken and outspoken black female who happens to be conservative, and they don't like her. Even though we keep hearing Black Lives Matter, you got to listen to black people. You got to let black people have an opinion until one has an opinion that you don't like. Then you go cancel them because that is how social justice works. It's how it always works. It's how I've told you it works. They don't care about the things they claim they care about because their actions prove that they don't care about it. And they continue to do this. And people just continue to let them get away with it. Why? Because they have the mob. And people are scared of the mob. Fuck the mob. These motherfuckers can't do anything to you but cry on Twitter. Stand up for yourself. Have a little respect. Have a backbone. Quit letting these weirdos who are... Uh, they're, they're just... They are obsessed with being offended. 
Quit letting these people bother you. They do not deserve respect. Ever. And as long as we continue to let them be offended and cry to the heavens and make up the fake boogeyman, then they're, gonna, they're never going to stop. Go on with the wind. Now, again, I'm not like a fan of the movie per se. I can't remember the last time I saw it. I can't remember the movie. I could care less about the movie from a fan standpoint. I don't give a shit about the movie. But the fact is, it is part of cinema history. It is an iconic film. Everybody knows this film. I watched it when I was in school. And now today, because the media has created a fake boogeyman, now today we have to get rid of Gone with the Wind. Now today we have to get rid of cops. Why? Why exactly? Why was this not important when Tony Tempa was killed by police? Why was this not important when Justine Damon was killed by police? Why was this not important when all of these non-black people were killed by police? Why was police brutality not a problem then? Why did the Black Lives Matter trend start right before the election in 2016? And why did it die immediately after the election in 2016? And why did no one talk about this for the four years that Trump's been in office or three years that Trump has been in office? And now suddenly in 2020, it's relevant again. How fucking stupid can you fucking be? Seriously, how fucking stupid can you be? It doesn't take a genius to figure out what's going on. The mainstream media, Hollywood, and far left-wing white people are driving this nonsense. That's the truth of the situation. Either you're going to wake up and figure that out, or you're not. But normal, everyday people have to stop bending the knee to this nonsense. You absolutely, positively have to. If not, whatever it is you love is going to be taken next. Because social justice doesn't care. It has no foundation. It has no foundation for anything. It doesn't care about anything. All it cares about is being offended. And they eat themselves alive constantly. We witness them eating themselves alive constantly. And they're never going to stop. As long as people give in, they're never going to stop. They're never going to affect me because I don't let them affect me. All I do is use their stupidity to make my life significantly better by calling them out, by exposing them because there are so many people that are scared to stand up to these people. My God, wake the fuck up. To quote Zack Snyder, wake the fuck up. This is ridiculous. Find your balls, pull them out of your girlfriend or your wife's purse, put them back in place, nut the fuck up, and tell these people to shut the fuck up.